Hi, my name is Juan Rojo, and this is the Munch and Learn series of the Dixon Gallery. Normally, we would meet at an amazing room inside of the museum, but due to the coronavirus crisis, I am producing this video inside my house with very limited resources. Hopefully, I will be able to show you all a little of my artistic process and offer you some insight of my work. My work has always been rooted in tradition. From Renaissance or Spanish Baroque painters to more contemporary masters like Lucia Freud or Frank Auerbach. My paintings still contain allusions to those works, the poses, colors, and sometimes visual elements from them exist as points of reference and make a continuous appearance in my work. Everything started when I was 14. I used to spend more of the day drawing, and my mother decided to take me to an art academy where I learned how to draw from observation, but also by copying the work of all the old masters, Michelangelo, Leonardo. I was introduced to Giacometti, who was the bridge that allowed me to cross from just making drawing to start appreciating painting. And finally, Frank Auerbach whose work instilled on me the love for painting. My early work that can be seen in these images was heavily influenced by Auerbach as well as Lucien Freud, my two symbolic fathers. After almost 20 years, my current body of work has changed dramatically from my formative years. From those very early, very thick oil paintings, I now work with water-based paint, mainly acrylics and watercolors, and the work is extremely flat. I also enjoy the use of stencils and spray paint to create distortions and contradictions within the paintings and my traditional way of applying color. I have also embraced decoration, although at first was with an ironic character, now plays a primary role as an element that intrudes and at times even obscures the faces of the subjects and disguises their identity. It took me a long time to kill my fathers, Freud and Ari Bach, but I think I have now found my own way of expressing myself with my paintings. Masks and costumes are present in most of my pieces and are used to explore issues of intimacy as well as personal narratives of the models or my own social concerns. There is a playful and trusting relationship between me and my models who are normally non-professionals. This trust between us allows me to use their bodies as mannequins, as structures to which all sorts of objects can be attached. Some objects are meaningful to the models, but others are just used to compose form, color, or line. This dress-up process is intuitive and anarchic, but also treated with great care and a fundamental part of my artistic process. This playful approach helps me to discover new forms and to deepen my exploration of the figure.
I usually work in multiple pieces at the same time. It is a remnant of my days of painting with oils. Because of its slow drying process, I have to keep starting pieces while I was waiting for the paint to dry. So, I normally ended up with 15 to 20 unfinished paintings in the studio at the same time. Currently, although I am painting with acrylics, which would allow me to work in just one piece at a time, I really enjoy moving from one painting to another and having numerous paintings in different states of completion. There is a constant dialogue between the unfinished paintings and the breakthroughs from one can be applied to the rest. In this way, I am able to compare them and create works that differ from each other and hopefully I will avoid painting the same painting over and over again. I generally take hundreds of photos during a photo shoot to finally choose four or five to paint. Some of the poses happen naturally during the shootings, and others I prepare beforehand, buying props and writing down compositions that I want to try out. Sometimes I redo old paintings like in this piece that is inspired by Da Vinci's Lady with an Ermine. To complete the homage, I painted the background using a stencil with the shape of the hand and the ermine from the original Da Vinci. Right now, I am working on two different versions of Judith beheading Holofernes. One is inspired by Gustav Klimt's version, and the other one is based on Artemisia Gentileschi's. I have been fascinated with the subject for a long time, but never attempted it before. Female empowering is normally associated with this late motif. And in this case, the model portrayed as Judith in both paintings is my daughter, which simply adds a personal and uplifting nuance and hopes to encourage her through art. <laughs> 